Hello, friends. It's Coach Stan again. I'm a site coordinator and certified trainer out of Playworks, Pennsylvania, and I'm super excited that you're back here for our recess game today. Before we get to it, I would like to give another awesome shout out to New Balance. Thank you all for being some great sponsors for our play at home sessions. Before we start our game today, I would like to go over one more time our group agreements. Now these are rules for everyone to keep in mind, just to make sure that we can make sure everyone is having a good time. So if you could repeat after me first, can we say, be safe? Awesome, make sure you got plenty of room around you and you're not gonna bump into anything. Next, can we repeat after me and say, be respectful? Awesome, now we got one more rule, it's the most important one, the one that we cannot forget. Can I have everyone repeat after me? Can we say, have fun? Awesome, we ready to have some fun and play a game? All right, so during our game today, there's a certain idea or concept that I want you to be thinking about. And that idea is problem solving, is what? Problem solving, that's right. Now, the name of the game that we're gonna play is called Invention. What's it called? Now, what's gonna happen in the game of Invention is we're gonna have to make sure that we're getting creative, we're using our minds, we're thinking on our feet, thinking quickly, so we can solve some problems that we might have. So, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna hold up one object at a time in front of the screen. Now, after I hold up the object, so my first object here is gonna be this pasta pot, I'll hold it on the screen for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds is over, I want you to tell me what is another way we can use that item that it's not originally made for. So, what is another way that you can use this pasta pot besides making food on the stove? And like I said, I'll give you 30 seconds. And then after that 30 seconds are o is over, I'm going to ask you all to tell me right in the comments what you thought of and how we can use this object. I will then share out what I thought of and then we'll move on to the next item. If that sounds good, can I hear a sound good coach? Awesome, here we go. So, like I said, first item is a pasta pot, and I will give you 30 seconds starting now. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, my friends, what were some ways that you thought of that we could use this pasta pot? I would love to hear your answers by putting them in the comment section below. Awesome. Got some great ideas coming through. That's awesome. I would love to tell you what I thought of. So for me, I know that We've all been spending a lot of time in our house recently, but it's also really important to make sure that we're staying active, moving our body, staying fit. So what I thought of to use for this pasta pot is use it as an exercise machine. How are you gonna do that? Well, there are a few ways that I thought of. We could take the pasta pot, we could flip it upside down, and we could put it on the ground, and then you can use it as kind of a step machine to make sure you get some exercise in, just like this. You can also use it as a weight. You can use it for your arms. And if you're feeling really strong, you can flip it back to upside down, put it on the ground, 
and you can use it as a special push-up machine, which is really, really fun. All right, great job, my friends. We're gonna move on to round two and a new object. The next object for round two is gonna be this water bottle. 30 seconds starting now. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Awesome. Just a reminder, my friends, for this, we're getting creative as possible. You can make up anything you want that you think you can use this item for. So it could be a game that you make up. It could be a tool to use. It could be anything that you want. So if you came up with an idea for this water bottle, I would love to hear about it by you putting it in the comment section below. Awesome. So for me, what I thought of was taking off the top, <coughs> excuse me, and turning this water bottle into a flower vase for these flowers that I picked on when I went on a hike earlier today. And if I can just put these flowers, whoa, inside this water bottle, I can make it into a nice flower vase. Awesome. So we got <coughs> two rounds so far, I'm sorry. We did two rounds so far. We did, first item was the pasta pot. Second item was the water ball. Now our third item that we're gonna do is going to be this trash can. And I will give you 30 seconds to think of your idea for this trash can starting now. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, my friends, did you come up with a creative idea how we can use this trash can for something other than a trash can? If you did, can you please put in the comments section below so I can hear about it? That'd be awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you what I thought of to use for this trash can. So for me, I work at Playworks. I love playing games. I'm always thinking about playing games. So what did I think of for this? I thought of making this trash can into a basketball hoop. So if you have a ball or a piece of trash or even just a crumpled up piece of paper like I have now, we can take this trash can and we can turn it into a basketball hoop. Woo! Awesome. So we did three rounds so far. We had the pasta pot, number one. We had the water bottle, number two. We had the trash can, number three. And for round four, I'm gonna show you all this tennis ball. You have 30 seconds to come up with an idea how we can use this tennis ball for something other than a tennis ball. All right, here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, my friends, if you came up with a great idea how to use this tennis ball, please put it in the comment section. I would love to hear it. And like I said, I work for Playworks. I love playing games. I'm always thinking about playing games. So for my idea to use this tennis ball, that's right, I thought of another game. In fact, I thought of a game that we actually played earlier today if you were here for our warm-up. And does anyone remember the name of that game? Yeah, popcorn. So I'm going to pretend that my tennis ball is a piece of popcorn. And how do I play this game? I have to try to throw my piece of popcorn up in the air, clap, and catch it before it hits the ground. And every time I go, so if I went round one, clap, got it? Next round, I would need to add an extra clap. So then it would be round two would be two claps. Round three, three claps, four, four claps. And if you played this game, I would love to know how you did and you can put it in the comment section below so I can see who got the highest amount of claps. All right? Now, I hope you had play fun playing our recess game today. The name of that game that we just played where we were coming up with new ideas, we were problem solving, we were being creative. The name of that game that we played was called Invention. What was it called? Invention, that's right. And what did I just say? What was the, the skill or the idea that we were talking about in that game? Yeah, problem solving. Problem solving is a really, really important skill, especially in our world today. Because sometimes life throws lots of different struggles or problems on us, and sometimes it feels like those problems are just so, so big that we're not really sure how to overcome them. But if we can try to use our minds to be creative about it, and come up with new ideas that might not always work. At least we tried, and at least we're moving towards finding a solution. If that sounds cool to you, can I get a sounds good, coach? All right, my friends, but I was really proud of how you all did today. You all showed me that you were great thinking really quickly. You showed me that you were great at being creative. So I want to show you the thinker clap. What's it called? The thinker clap. That's right. So to do the thinker clap, we're going to count down. Three, two, one, clap. We're going to take our thumb and our pointer finger just like this, put it on our chin, and we're going to, we're going to think. All right. Here we go, thinker clap on three, thinker clap on me. One, two, three, clap. Think. All right, my friends, great job. I hope I get to see you in two hours from now. We'll have our cool down together, our last session of the day. See you later, my friends.